Right, we're back at his paste table and we're going to start cutting, pasting and obviously before we can cut and paste anything we need to measure it. Now, we know that it's 3 metres 10 but a little tip at this stage is you will go on site and a lot of people turn around to me and say I see them and they don't use a ruler Nick. Why don't they use a ruler? Well I'll tell you why they don't use a ruler. What most paper hangers will do is they'll mark the side of the board like we've done here every 10 centimetres. What they'll do is at every 10 centimetres point they'll put a mark on the side of the board. Why do they do it on the side and not on the top? Simple answer. If you do it on the top, as your wallpaper comes out, you don't see it. So that's why it's done on the side of the board. So they now know every 10 centimetres. A standard British board is two metres long. So half of the board, one metre. We're saying now that we need three metres ten. So the first thing where the manufacturers and everybody works with us on this, when we're opening the paper out, we're on somebody's site, we're in a customer's house. What we don't want to happen is that. It just doesn't look right. It isn't right. So what we do is we turn us roll over. We put it down that way like that. And we're going to paste this side. Everything's working for us now. We'll fetch this out. Fingers on, turn it over. Now I know the board's two metres long. So straight away, I've gone two metres. Half of it is a metre. I've got my three metres. My first ten centimetres, that's my ten centimetres. Now, I'm going to cut three lengths because we need three lengths. Easy enough, I'm going to put my finger on there. I'm going to put it back. Now, all we do, I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. There's a site way and a college way. The college way is the correct way. We need to go back to basics. If anything goes wrong on site, you've got to go back to basics. However, always remember, what we do is we work for money. So, if you can speed things up a little bit, it's always good for us. As long as this is straight along these two edges, that line will be straight. So what we're doing is we've put that in line, we're folding this down and putting a crease in it. All we have to do now is that line with the scissors and we're going to cut straight down that line. Now, if you look at the scissors, only thing I worry about on these scissors is the point. These scissors are only ever going to cut to where the point's pointing to. So it doesn't matter about anything else really apart from where the point is. So wherever the point's going to is where your scissors are going to cut to. That's your first piece cut. Down to end the board, away it goes. Right, that is the correct way to cut your wallpaper on the board. However, you're going to see a lot of people on site. You're going to work on site yourself. The basics you need to know. If anything else goes wrong, we've always fallen back on the basics. It's a bit like when we start pasting. We'll go into that in a second. But you'll see a lot of these straight edges. Good tool. Nice stainless steel edge. Won't rust. And plastic. Can be worth quite a lot of time to us. And that's what we're looking at. But it's also saving us. If it saves us, it's worth having. A lot of lads who's doing papering full time on price will be using that straight edge. So, the same principle again, two metres to the end of the board, half of the board, three metres, ten centimetres. Now, what you'll see they do with this is they'll find the ten metre site, and all they're going to do is they're going to angle it like that. They'll pick the paper up. And what they do is what's important to watch here is they're pulling downwards, not upwards. So when they're pulling, they're pulling down against their arm and not upwards. So that's as easy as that if you're going to use. It does take some getting used to one of these, so I suggest you practice it before you start using it full time. If you're just going to pull upwards on it, what happens is you end up with your corner. And it'll usually be this last corner here. So, always remember, 
if you are going to go for a, a shorter way of doing it and you are going to pull on downwards down and across and it's out it's away now we did say that we needed three purely and simply we need a straight so one two and this is going to be a third one and again two meters halfway down three meters ten centimeters yeah, three, ten. Anything we're not using at this stage goes under the board. If it's under the board, nobody's going to fall over it. Wallpaper, anything at all we're not using now, under the board. We've now got a wallpaper on the board. We're going to spend a minute just making sure that it's nice and level and even. Right, this is where you're gonna look at me now and I know exactly if I'm right-handed, I'm going to be working from the right-hand side of my board. If I'm left-handed, I'm going to be working from the strongest side. So it could be that if you're left-handed, you're going to have to reflect the mirror image of what I'm doing, purely and simply, you want to work off your strongest side. You've got the better reach, you're much more comfortable. I'm right-handed, I'm gonna be working on my right. Most decorators out there you will find become ambidextrous. They can use both hands, they have to. Uh, it's just something they pick up naturally. But in this instance, I'm gonna be working with my right hand because it's my strongest hand from the right-hand corner. In 99.9% .9 of painting and decorating, we work in squares. We cover a square, go to the next square. This hand, I know exactly what's happening with it. This is the important hand, the left hand. This hand goes onto the board. This hand is doing the work. It's stopping this paper from moving anywhere. So if I'm pressing on with this hand, that paper's going nowhere. I know what this one's doing. This one is going to do the pasting. We're only pasting half of the paper at this stage. Now, the paste on, I'm working a paste brush in. It's important now that we finish in an outward stroke. Now, some people call it cross hatching, and you can see why. Some people call it the butterfly stroke, which is also appropriate. Other people call it a figure of eight. It doesn't matter what you call it, the reason we do it is plain and simple. If we're pushing outwards. The paste going that. The minute we start pulling it back, so the secret is lift it. Because the minute we pull it back, if we don't get it up and fetch it back, all the paste runs down the edge of the board. So that's the reason the cross hatching takes place, the figure of eight, that is the reason. Remember this hand's the one what's doing the most work. This hand presses down. While ever this hand is flat on the board, this paper's going nowhere. As you can see, I'm also looking down the light. I can see any misses straight away. There isn't any, hopefully. <laughs> if there is, well, <laughs> we're in trouble. Because if we haven't got paste on it, it doesn't stick to the wall. And that's, not a, that's not a good sign. Bristles, if anything comes out onto paper, it's easy enough to just flick it off, put it in your pouch, no problem. It will happen, things like that. Same again here, my hands down, and I'm only worried, I'm only concentrating as I'm pasting this wallpaper, one square at a time. I'm not interested in anything else. One square at a time is finished. Now, at no time at this stage have I had to bend my back. I haven't had to go down and I haven't had to start this game. So my back's always been straight and I've saved myself quite a bit of work. I'm gonna put my paste brush back on here. Now, at this stage, what we're gonna do, the left hand goes to the right corner. It's so easy now 
to go with the right hand because it's nearest to it. That's the mistake what most people will make. So the right hand is the nearest to it. The left hand goes to the farthest corner and all we're doing is turning it over a fraction. That's to stop us getting paste all over his hands. We don't want to get hands full of paste. Right, we then pick it up with the left hand, not the right hand, the left hand, yeah? Or obviously if you're left-handed, it's the opposite way around. We're picking it up. This hand, you'll see a lot of paper angles look like they've got webbed hands. Right, we're gonna put this down. It doesn't matter where this goes because all we're gonna do is we're gonna put that hand on it and we're gonna pull it back so as it's bang straight. That goes there, that's finished. We want at least three folds to this board. If you've got less than three folds, then you're gonna struggle. You want at least three folds. You do see some big clever people, you know, they can do it in two folds, they get to the wall, they've got hands over here, hands over there. Three folds, keep yourself comfortable, keep yourself relaxed. Up again, left hand, down. It doesn't matter where that lands as long as you slide it. If you slide it, it's going to be all right. Number three. So that's my three folds to board. Yeah, for the first one. I'm now gonna pull this along. Now, sometimes you'll get a little bit of play here. If that happens, and as it happens, we haven't really got much here. Roll it back. Do not flatten it. You don't want creases in it. You're just gonna roll it back, put a bit of pressure on, that should be sufficient to hold it. Pull it to the end of the table. Line it up. Now, we're using the brush, the paste brush. We could also use a roller. A lot of people will argue it's a lot quicker with a roller. It's probably the only job I know where the synthetic roller sleeves work well because they do leave an even, even sort of layer on that paper for us. However, even if you're using the roller, I do suggest you follow the same footing. If you don't, what will happen is you roll around the roller. And, and again, you've got plan B, haven't you? You've got a customer looking at you, starting not trying not to laugh. And you also feel like, oh dear, what's gone off? So, bit by bit, square by square, we're almost there for that first length. Once we've completed that first length of the paste, we're going to put as paste books there. Remember the left hand in, down, in, down. Now, whatever you've got left at the end, we fold over. <laughs> 